Okay, um, this is um, what I'm doing. I was asked actually if I would explain or show how I fill the how I did this. These are just two pictures. I'm going to have six on the wall. There's going to be two here and two right next to it, and they're fabric. So um, welcome. Yeah, it's just fabric. Um, this is the same fabric as I have on a chair. In, um, these are my kitchen chairs. Let me show you. Oh, I, I gotta move my computer off of here. Wait a second. All right, see, that's my chair. And that's the fabric I have on my chair. Um, no, I don't sell Etsy. Um, but I guess I could. <laughs> anyway, um, this is my, this is the fabric from the chair I put in there. That's fabric I got from um, the store. Hi, nice to see you. You know, from the fabric store. I ended up, here, let me turn this around. I ended up, um, oh yeah, no, they did. They came really good. Um, I ended up getting uh, like six pieces of fabric and um, I, they all didn't work. Um, this uh, this one I, I did, this is a shirt, look. See, it's a, it's a halter top. And that, and, but the pink, the, the color works great, right? So I have a halter top in there. And um, my sister, I have a friend that um, she has a, um, what's it called? One of those things that you do with the window treatment, a window treatment business. She puts window, she does window treatment. So she always has a lot of fabric. So my sister was over there and she brought me back some fabric. And so um, all of it didn't work, but a couple of them did. And I had some requests. Thanks for the hearts. Love the hearts. Um, I had some requests um, to show how I do it. How do I fill the frames? Okay. So I'm going to show you that now. All right. So um, I got them at, I got it at um, the frames at Ikea. And first I went to like the Christmas tree store. I wanted to see you know, if they had anything, you know, super cheap, because I want to do it cheap. And, um, or I guess I should say, I want to do it the least expensive. I, you know, I don't want to spend more money than I have to. And so they had frames, but they didn't have the frame with the mat. So I figured out, I called actually the local, like, you know, craft store, and it would have cost me about $25 total to get the cheap frame and the mat to fit. And then on top of that, it's going to be a lot more work. So I went to Ikea and I found a frame. Um, let me show you one second. Excuse my ass. All right. I found this frame. This was $16, so it's got the mat in it already. And so, you know, with just a couple more bucks for the fabric on the inside, I got myself some art, you know. Um, this was from, this the idea, I got this idea from, I had this 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 Pinterest board that's called My Funky House because I, I came from a house that was like from built in 1920 and I couldn't afford to do all the things I wanted to do with it, you know, original bathroom, original kitchen, and I, so I said, well, let me do the best I can with what I've got. And I'll just make my house, you know, make me happy and funky. So I, um, I saw this one thing and it was wallpaper in frames on a really bright colored wall. So I painted my wall, you know, that turquoise color. Um, um, oh, my girlfriend Lisa's here. Hi, Lise. Um, I painted my wall that turquoise color. And I did exactly what it was that I saw on that Pinterest, um, that you know, the, the thing that I created, like a Pinterest board, one of my whatever's, right? My campaign. Okay, so here. So, <laughs> so now this is something that didn't work. Remember I said that I bought a bunch of fabrics and all of them didn't work? This one didn't work. It's like, it's, it looks kind of like it should be the matting of, of a picture, not an actual picture. So, you know, I thought it might have worked, but it doesn't. So I'm going to take this out and we're going to put another one in. All right. And I'll show you the other couple that I do have. Um, it's really super simple. It really is super, super simple. So here, I'll take this out. Now, one thing, if you're going to do this, I got to tell you, be real careful with this part of it because you don't want like anything on there. Like I did it before. I was like, there was a thread through it. I'm like, oh, damn, I had to take it off. And then there was another one that I kept using to see how things would look with it. 
And now my mat's not so great with that one. So that's just like take my 2020 with that so it doesn't happen to you, okay? Now, this is the is a piece of fabric that I'm going to use in this one, and I really like it. Isn't it nice? The colors work great, and it's beautiful. It's like raised. Can you see it? It's like em, um, embroidered or something. So now there's a little stain on this. Look, see? See the little stain right here? See the little ring? So I know I can't have it there. So that's going to have to dictate to a lot of where I'll place this because I can't have it there. So I know that I want it to go up. So I know that it's going to be there. And you can kind of see through it. I don't know if you can, but you can't. But look, so it's facing down, and I can kind of see through it. So I can see that this thing is on the end. And, you know, so it's not going to show. The boo-boo there, you know, is not going to show. I'm going to take this and stick it down into, you know, where, where this is. It's all down there. Okay. Nice, right? Now I'm going to pull. You want to pull a little bit of the fabric. Pull the fabric. Thanks for the heart so much. You want to pull the fabric so that it's taut. Now, something that's real important is iron this thing. Iron it. I have one up on the wall that I didn't iron. I have to take it down and iron it. So make sure you iron it first. You'll just be happier. Make sure also when you do this that you have the um, this thing is in the right spot. You know, like if I had this and I put it that way, it would be upside down. So it's all these little things that make it um, easier, you know, and, and just, you know, you realize later. So I stepped in the holes and you don't got to, right? So let's do this. Now, I'm not really sure if this is the way I'm going to keep it. Now, the only reason I'm doing it like this, normally I would just like pick it up and take a look at it. Um, but... All right, I think it's good. I think it's good. Now, I'm going to do another one real quick just so that I could show you. Um, now, I would never want it dead center. I think that, you know, that doesn't happen in nature, actually, you know, whole dead center thing. I may have placed it a little bit differently if it wasn't for that stain, but I didn't have much of a choice. Now, all I have to do on the back, once I'm sure it's where I want it to be, is just cut off the, uh, you know, the excess and bada boom, I'm done. All right, so now I want to show you something else that this is exciting. Watch. This, I, this is fabric that, now my mother died when I was five, right? And my sister Tina, when I had my daughter 35 years ago, gave me this fabric that my mother bought for me to make me a dress. You know, years ago, that was very typical that they did that. They made dresses for people. Um, lovely hearing to... Um, love heading to Ikea for frames. Um, so she got this and it's, you know, it's netting and she gave it, my sister gave it to me and I've had this, I'm kind of a, a um, a fabric junkie, bada bing, bada boom. Yep. Yeah. Um, and so I do have, I have two boxes, you know, it's so funny. I, um, I left a four bedroom house I had a piano room, I had a front porch, I had a side entrance way, I had a barn in the backyard, I had a full attic, and I had a full basement. And I minimized everything to be in a one-bedroom apartment, zero storage. I just had one closet, and I bought two boxes of fabric with me. Getting rid of so much stuff, I bought two boxes. I, I, like, I like fabric. I mean, so, you know, like the, the boxes are the size of... They're about like this size. They're um, apple boxes of fabric. Well, I've had this fabric. I've had it for 35 years. I'm 54. My mother bought it when I was about two years old. So it's about 50, 52 years old, this freaking fabric. So I thought to myself, I bet I could put it on the wall. And so look at what I did. I painted the back. I just did this like a half hour ago, you know. I painted the back of what goes in the frame the same color as the back, the wall, right? So if I take this, now I want to put the raised edge there, all right? I take this and I put this on here. Watch, let's see how this is going to be. Now this is the frame that I told you about that I used too often. You know, like, like don't do that, all right? Like I kept using this one to see how things would look. 
and that's not good because you know then you have like little linty things and stuff and you don't want that to happen so now I'll take this I'll put it down here and there I think that would be good like that and I'll take this and I'll put it down remembering to put this where the top is and I'll stick it in now I now I'm not really even sure how this is going to look because I haven't seen it with this color yet I saw it with the um I had a um here I took a pillowcase from my bed it's burgundy and I put this down first and then I put this on top of it and it looked good so I thought all right well I don't have any burgundy paint and I don't want to go out and get burgundy fabric so um, you know, one of the things about us organizationally challenged people is we're so freaking creative. We're amazing. If we could just realize that it's okay if we're disorganized. I hate that word. It's okay if we're organizationally challenged. We can learn how to be organized, but it ain't so easy to learn how to be creative. That's kind of, that's something that's like in us. It's born in us. It's like, like people who are born musical. So, um, we're really good at you know, figuring shit out. My kids call me MacGyver. <laughs> they call me MacGyver. So wait, I'm, I'm just going to pick this up. All right. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh my God. Isn't it so great? I love it. Um, don't cut the excess off. Take it down. Oh, tape it down. No, it's okay. I'm going to just cut it off because, well, there's a couple of reasons. One is um, this is serving its purpose right now. If I do that, then if I don't cut it off, then what I'll be doing is I'll be sending out to the universe that I'm, af I'm afraid I won't have what I need. I'm afraid I won't. I'm afraid of loss. I'm afraid I'm going to lose this. I'm not going to lose it. I used it. See, that's how we get stuck with too much stuff. I love it so much. I'm so happy. Um, now, what you can't see is that it's wrinkled. I, I didn't iron this yet because I figured it out, you know, not that long ago and I haven't ironed it yet. So I'm going to have to take this out and iron it. Um, and another thing is, is that I have a bunch more of this. And um, so it's not like there's going to be no more because I have a granddaughter now who is two. Yeah, she's two now. And um, I'll t I'm going to um, Thailand in November. And if they're anything like Vietnam was, um, give this lady a wire hanger, duct tape, and some pantyhose, and she can build a car. That's, that's so true. It's so true. Ooh, I'm sorry. All right, so, yeah, we do that. Okay, now, all right, so that's it, right? That's it. Um, oh, no, I have another piece. All right, you ready? Let's do it again. All right, wait. Uh, let's do one more. Uh, all right, ready? I went one time. I got I I pulled up in front of a um you know one of those things when you go to a store and there's those um those like curb things in front of where you pull into park right? Well, I pulled a little too close. And my, my bumper got stuck on the little thing, you know? And when I backed up, my bumper got pulled off. So I'm like, oh no, what do I do, right? I couldn't, go, I couldn't go anywhere. It was like hanging on it. So I had in my back seat wire from a craft that I had just been doing from an art, a, a floral thing. I had floral, floral, um, wire in my back seat and a rubber band and you know that was in my pocketbook and um i had duct tape because i kind of traveled with duct tape and i fixed it but boom there you go i got to go home and then it was all done so i think you know there was that the the reason the wire hanger the wire uh floral wire stuff was in there was because i had a whole big box for um for donation and inside of that box, I had that wire in there. So I kind of, you know, I, I travel with duct tape, though, because, like, you never know when you need duct tape. I really like duct tape. All right, ready? So now here's a brand new one, right? And 
you know, you can't ever do this on your lap. That won't work. Now, here's the other piece of fabric. Okay, this is the other piece of fabric. Now I have to make a decision. What part of, what flower do I want? Like that's a little piece of paisley, that's that flower. Now there's this too though, I like that, and there's that. See, there's all different kinds of designs. So I think I, I think I would like to see some of the paisley in there. So let's see how, let's see how this is. If I do it a little bit off center, I'm gonna put this on here. Now, does the paisley go up or down? Let's try it like that. And so now I won't, I won't stick down any of the edges. I'll just do this and take a look and see what I think. All right. Do I like it like that? I think I do. I don't think I'm going to even mess with it. Now, say most of the time when you have, like, say you ever go for a wedding dress or go with somebody for a wedding dress, the first one they try on is the one that they love. And then after that, they're like, they go and they try on 100,000 other ones and they f turn out that they get the first one. It's like, you know, you should have just got the first one. So sometimes you should just leave it alone, but I can't, you can't resist, right? So I want to see what I think about this angle. So there's that one. No, I don't like that one. I like the first one better, don't you? I do too. I like the first one better. Um, so I think that's what I'll go with. I think I'll go with the first thing that we had, which was where I had um, the paisley showing, and and I'm I'm just not going to overthink it. You know, when we overthink everything, things take too long. Who wants to go there? Who wants to do that? Who wants to go there? You know what I mean? All right. So I think that's I think I'm going to leave it just like this. Da 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 dum 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 da dum da dum. Let's see. That's good, right? That is good. I like it. I like it. I like it so much. Okay. Now, now all I have to do is turn it under. Um, singing helps. I know it really does, doesn't it? So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to hang it. Remember I told you I have, this is a shirt, right? This is my, um, it's actually, it used to be my daughter Katie's and she gave it to me. I've had it for about nine years now. And, um, so I think, you know, it's time for it to be on the wall instead of on my, my person. But it's just too good, right? It matches everything. So nice. So, um, all right, so that's that. If you Now, I'm doing a video of getting my living room done. I've been living here where I am right now for um, a year, a little over a year. And I've had nothing in my living room but a coffee table, a couch, a TV, and I, and yeah, that's it. Coffee table, couch, TV. Um, oh, Katie just said, I can't believe you still have that shirt. I know. Well, I just showed them yesterday the dress that I have that you had when you were um, 16 that I still wear. And that is, you got that from Rave, remember? That was my daughter, Kate. All right. So, um, oh, so I'm going to, I'm going to do a video, um, of I actually I'm working on it where I, I'm getting the kit the living room done and um, I took a video of the whole process getting the pictures in the frames painting the wall moving my TV and um, painting I painted a, um, a, a hassock um, I painted a hassock too um, fabric it was it was velvet it was olive green I painted it like a it's kind of like the same color almost of the wall and so if you want to get that, you'll have to be on my email list. So the tidytutor.com. And if you go there and put in your name and email, then when I send that video out of that whole thing, I'm going to do it in like a fast forward so that, you know, it won't be real time because that'll take a long time to watch. It'll just be fast forward of the whole thing. Um, thanks so much, um, Kate, for putting that in there. The tidytutor.com. There's a place for you to put your name and email in there. Bada boom, bada bing. You'll be done. And then we'll be hooked up. All right? All right. So that's that. I'm going to take off now. I'm doing a marathon. Marathon videos this week on, I mean, today on um, Periscope. I think I'm going to do this every weekend. Marathon Periscope videos every weekend. And um, also, just in case, just to let you know that I'm going to start up again going to the gym 5.30, I'm going to make it like to be a little bit more flexible between 5.30 and 6, I'm going to do a periscope that says, let's go to the gym, come on. So if there's anybody on the East Coast, 
Um, there was a whoops. Oh, whoop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, if anybody's on the East Coast and you want to get up early with me and go to the gym, um, then, you know, get yourself prepared because I'm going to, you know, do one. Um, I'm going to think I'm going to do it just Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And this way, it'll just be a little bit more manageable for me to do a Periscope for that. But it'll be so much fun, and it'll, it really helps. It helps me so much to get up and get going. It's like getting a, having a cyber gym buddy. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's so cool. We did it for a little while now there, and then I stopped for a little bit. I can't stop. I really, I need the encouragement of everybody that goes with me. So, so there's that. All right. So I'll see you later and definitely, you know, make sure you go for my email no. list and I'll talk um, to you I soon. Thanks a lot for being here. And if you just joined, then you can see the replay and, um, you know, you can find out about how the heck I did what I did. And this is going to stay like that. It's really great, right? It really is. I'm so excited. Okay. Take care, everybody. Thanks so much for the hearts. Bye. <laughs> Got bugs called the bug eye. You cook bacon apple pie. If you show your picture, tear clean or clean my underwear. These are the things we do. The house is a mess with all the junk. The sink's clogged up with dinner time gunk. You pick up the phone and call the rotor rooter to make it all work. You call the tidy two. Pretty good, mm -hmm. don't you?